okay so in this tutorial what we are going to see is nothing but interactivity communication right let's dive into deeper in the interactivity communication I have these two activities right I have these two activities now what I want to do is that I have these three buttons one two and three I have these three buttons one two and three and here I have one text view right I have one text view and what you can say some color picker or instead of text view I would be having two colors say this two radio buttons right and one button over here simply one button right so what I am doing I have these three buttons one two three two radio buttons and one button is that fine so I have these things if I click over here if I am going to click on this button it should start this activity very first thing I am going to achieve this thing whenever I am going to click any of the button it should start this activity when I am going to click any of the button it should start this activity I want to achieve this thing very first right so in this tutorial let's make the setup what we are going to do let's make the setup okay now I want to create two activities first main activity I have already created let's have three buttons right if you use relative layout that would be much better because relative layout are very easy to convert to constraint layout so I'll keep it as it is button and ID you can say at plus ID BTN right BTN I can say what mango I can say mango BTN mango and text here I can assign mango something like this and width I would like to have match parent right width I would like to have match parent and then I'm going to create one more button right say Android Android right mango Android and here also I can have Android right but below this below what you can say ID at ID BTN mango below then I would be having one more button or let's have only two buttons that's fine right and mango and the Android I would be having two buttons only right now here I would be having one linear layout or frame layout I would be having frame layout I'm going to keep it empty relative layout when you would be using whenever you would be having arrangement of your views arrangement of views according to the relative position of the parent or the other views linear layout when you have vertical or the horizontal arrangement and frame layout if your container would be holding only one view only one view there is no alignment you cannot make alignment with the help of frame layout so I'm going to use frame layout as it is and match parent not here width would be what match parent and height would be I can say 100 dp and that would be below below BTN Android right that would be below BTN Android can you see this thing and little bit I'm going to make the color I'm going to make it a little bit colorful and that's why I can say background right background and here you can say this color I would be needing right now this color is nothing but this color you don't know presently what I am exactly doing right you don't know presently what I am exactly doing that's why I am making over here such thing right so some value is going to come over here right some value is going to come over here so when I am going to click on the mango or the Android 
when I'm going to click on the mango or the Android it should take me to the next activity right that we are achieving over here and this is for some next purpose we'll discuss that what is the intention of this pink color frame layout over here right now let me create another activity in the interactivity communication see main Java and here I can say producer activity I'm going to create new empty activity now when to use basic when to use full screen login master detail navigation scrollable tabbed we'll see later on at the time of material design don't worry on that right but presently I'm going to use something called as empty activity which won't be having anything right I'm going to use some empty activity over here right name of that activity would be producer activity right name of that activity would be the producer activity and finish right if you want to make it launcher then tick that otherwise not J otherwise just say finish and observe your manifest file that is very very important at the first lecture I have told you right every component of the Android is going to be registered into the application tag there are four different components activity services content providers and the broadcast receivers or the intent receivers are the four different what you can say components of the Android and every component need to be registered under the application tag make sure that every component need to be registered under the application tag right so you created the new activity which is nothing but the component that is registered over here that is registered over here okay now here right let me enable the Java 8 in your project right I'm going to enable the Java 8 so go to the build.gradle into the default config jack options right you would be getting this thing I'm do I would be doing this thing many times throughout the modules jack options and you can say enabled true right then compile options over here compile options right then we would be having compile options source compatibility right 1.8 and target compatibility target compatibility say 1.8 any change in the Gradle file will lead to the syncing of the project no matter you are working with the IntelliJ idea or the studio one and same both are same studio has been written on the top of IntelliJ idea right that's not an issue okay now see I would be having let me get uh, let me find the button over here see find view by id r dot id dot what you can say btn android right btn android you'll typecast it to the button right you'll typecast it to the button right and then you would be having reference of the button and you can say btn android is equals to this and then you will assign btn android dot set on click listener over here btn android dot set on click listener over here and here you can say something v arrow is the lambda and you are you can provide the lambda over here right and you can say on android means on android clicked instead of this I can use method reference this colon colon and you can say on android over here on android so this method see this thing view set on click listener is the method from the view class right so you can this is this much is returning you view object right this much is returning you view object why you need to do all these things view dot on click listener is the method of which class view class you don't need to have the typecasting right if you want to use button specific methods or that particular view specific method then typecast it otherwise not okay so in the next I'll show you this thing see find view by id r dot id dot what you can say btn mango itself is a view and directly I can call set on click listener 
right and here I can say if you are going to click on this you can say on mango something like this if you are beginning or if you are watching this video directly I will suggest you to go for Java 8 integration in the Android how that works in the event handling model okay so this is how we have made little bit setup over here right means on the click of this this is going to be get called now in the next activity that is nothing but the producer activity right producer activity would be having two radio buttons right producer activity would be having two radio buttons see if you want to work with the radio button that should be inside radio group right you can say match parent and the wrap content and write the radio buttons inside this group that's why radio buttons would be selected only once you need to if there are two radio buttons not two would be selected only one should be getting selected so you can have radio button over here wrap content and the wrap content and you can assign text here right you can say over here you can say red right you can say red over here right and over here what you can say this green or blue something like this two radio buttons would be having text that would be looking something like this over here right and below this radio button I can say ID here at plus ID radio group I can say radio group and below this there would be one button right I would be having match parent and this would be the wrap content ID you can say BTN and back I would be saying BTN back right and text here I can say back this is also bad idea of giving the text that should be inside the string dot XML we'll see later on you you you're not knowing that thing that's why I'm not writing that presently and you can say below layout below you can say this radio group so this will look like this it will look like this right so red and blue presently I have written over there right and the mango I have written over there in that fashion and there is an error remove that if there is an error in the XML your R file wouldn't be getting generated so clean the XML error first and then your R file would be getting generated right so I'm going in the producer activity again I can say find view by ID R dot ID dot btn back dot set on click listener and you can say this on back you can say on back method I'm going to call on the click of this right so here we created the setup for this demo how we are going to work with see in these demos I am exploring more and more details right that would be very much helpful for you while developing your project right okay so in the next tutorial what I am going to explain I am going to explain how to start one activity from this activity to the another activity one activity from current activity to the another activity right and we will go on increasing our code and till the end we are going to see how to come back from next activity to the earlier activity right all that things we'll see step by step so keep watching